Welcome to the Minute of Strength. Today I'm going to get some frustrations out on you guys. I'm seeing improper rope training everywhere I go. I go to see professional teams, colleges, high schools, working with trainers all over the country and I'm seeing just very bad technique, very, very bad form on such a simple and amazing concept of using undulation properly. All right, so this is what I see. People are literally pulling on the rope, pulling on it, leaning against it to hold themselves up and slapping the rope on the floor. Here's what it should look like. Simple undulation pattern, I've done it a thousand times. Slack in the rope, give some slack. Undulate, try to get a rhythm going using your core first. So I'm not slapping it on the ground. I've got a nice smooth undulation pattern. I feel this in my obliques right now, my lats. My shoulders are nice and fresh. I don't feel it on my shoulders. My heart rate's getting up there. And that's the first thing I see. Second thing, once I, if, if people get that idea of putting slack in, they're not using enough variety. A beautiful one to just get going with the flow of these is what we call a grappler's throw. One rope in each hand. This is the grip on that exercise. Put some slack in it. Get your body to flow. Pivot on the right foot. Throw the ropes over to the left. As soon as they hit the ground, come up over to the right. Pivot on the left. As soon as it hits, back again. So one of the cues we give is walk forward as you do this, which requires a little bit more energy. Walk back a little bit. I find that sweet spot right there and I add a little speed, keeping the integrity of the movement. It's not a fast movement, it's a rhythmic movement. I'm using my core first, shoulders are nice and fresh. The variety of these movements offers the benefit. So if we want to change planes, we simply undulate and squat. Here's what we normally see. Pulling on the rope, leaning back against it, shrugging the shoulders, zero benefit. Put some slack in it, put that effort in, get that undulation going, and squat. The pattern's are endless. Rope Squad Wild Blackjack 21 has 21 unique movement patterns programmed in a way. We've got upper body dominant, core dominant, lower body dominant to create a round. Check it out, mix it up, open your minds, get the benefit you're supposed to get, put some hard work in, and it'll pay off. Check it out.